Hello y'all, I'm back with another skincare advice video. Um, and let's just address the elephant in the room. For the first time in two years, almost three, three years would have been February. But I've rolled out my hair for the first time since um, February of 2018. And yeah, the damage is real, honey. As far as the loss of hair over the years, the thinning and all of that to my hair. Y'all y'all seen the pictures of what my hair used to look like in the past compared to now. It, it's a drastic difference. But I still got this much remaining. I'm about wanting to do a change. I don't know what I want to do. And then I got the factor in this situation right here. Uh... But I, I keep y'all updated on that, uh, you know. But, you know, Diva is about tempted to go short. <laughs> but we all want to go there just quite yet. We're going to keep hold on. Wait a minute. Honey, we're going to hold on until we get, you know, this situated. Then we think about something drastic. But I'm about to get to the point where I want to start perpetually darn on blowing this out and wear my wig. Because the thing is, when I have my hair in the afro... I can't compact it enough for my straight units uh, and all of that. And then if I do the silly, the silly twist, it'd it, it be the same thing. And I can't braid to save my life. So the only way I can get a super flat surface is if I go ahead and press it out, which I haven't done that in three years. Um, but this is about as straight as we get, unless the um, other product that I'm about to use in another video gets my hair even straighter. But y'all will see that Deja Vu product in another video. But anyways, we're here to talk about is it safe to use toothpaste on the skin? And that question is, it depends. Some people have and you, you leave it on the uh, scar and because of the products that it contains, such as some essential oils, such as lavender, eucalyptus uh tea tree especially tea tree is uh, the most well known and yeah and it usually it's tea tree oil that's in the um a tea tree or a citrus based oil why i don't know why i was saying lavender <laughs> i don't know who will have lavender in the toothpaste but you know usually it's a citrus based tea tree oil i mean citrus based essential oil or a tea tree oil that's in the toothpaste that acts as a drying agent for the acne um, also, antiseptic. What else? Then you got the hydrogen peroxide up in there. Then you got the baking soda. But here comes the conundrum. If your skin is sensitive, if it's older, dry, uh, if you suffer from eczema, psoriasis, I would not recommend doing so. Because what can happen is you can cause the skin to be compromised even further more. Because you got to think about it. Your teeth is made up of totally different material than your skin. Your skin is very soft. Versus your teeth is a lot more harder. So when it comes to that toothpaste acting on the skin. Or, or I mean on the teeth. It's a lot different. Uh, it's meant to darn going to take down a lot of stuff in your mouth. That would not necessarily be on your skin first of all. Number two. You also got to think about pH balance and formulation. The reason why the, the toothpaste contains stuff like baking soda and tends to lean more on the basic side of the pH scale, which is above 7, uh, is because um, acid-based products tend to corrode your teeth and thus you need something in alkalinity to neutralize the acidity in your um, on your teeth. Um, so that's why your toothpaste tend to be more on the basic side of the pH scale. Now the problem with that is when you put that basic product on your skin, now you're throwing off your acid mantle, which your acid mantle at all times is supposed to be between a pH of 4.5 to 5.5, similar to the pH of your hair. You know, hair, skin, and nails are all made up of keratin, uh, with your skin being the most softest keratin and your largest organ on your body. Uh, and you know your only organ that is extrinsic. It's your organ that is exposed to the elements versus all your other organs are on the inside. Your largest organ on your body is on the outside 
and it's protected by your acid mantle, which is supposed to stay between 4.5 to 5.5 to keep it um, all right. But when you introduce alkaline-based products such as um, toothpaste on it, yeah, it can work wonders with drying it out. But it's like there's other avenues that you can go by doing that without compromising the integrity of the skin, potentially. You can just go straight up and use tea, diluted tea tree oil with your carrier oils. So, And then a light carrier oil because since you're using it on the face, you don't want no heavy comedogenic oil such as, you know, you don't want no olive oil on the face. You don't want no uh, grape seed oil on the face. Coconut, I don't even do coconut oil on the face. It's like, uh, for the face, jojoba oil, argan oil, something like that will be more suffice. So dilute your tea tree oil into that, and that should help rectify any acne breakouts that you have. Also, um, facial treatments um, custom made for you for your acne breakouts that will also work as well you know definitely come check out an institution such as Diva Wand to get you together uh, also we got professional skincare products for you but if you want to do the, out, the at home route I would suggest you know once again diluted tea tree oil with a carrier oil that is safe for the face. Once again, jojoba oil or argan oil will be my recommendation. So, that is basically it in a nutshell. Yeah, straight, simple, to the point, y'all. Uh, do I recommend toothpaste on the point, uh, uh, on the face as a quick go-to? No. No, like I said, just get, just get you some tea tree oil and darn going, um, go from there. Also, change your soap up as well. Um, your soap can also be irritating your skin as well. If you're using a, a drying base soap, I recommend some, uh, switching over to like a glycerin base soap um, or an African black soap. And then following up with a good moisturizer. Even if you have oily skin, um, your skin still needs moisture. Um, the reason why your skin is probably overproducing your oils is because you're not moisturizing the skin and thus your oily skin is compensating as a result of not being moisturized properly. You can find a good moisturizer that's not going to have you looking like oil slick and combining with your natural um, oils. You can, you can tailor your moisturizer with something such as tea tree to combat your natural oil production and and that's another thing certain oils can actually control oil production and um, aid in your moisture at the same time because you can darn go and combat that um the breakouts with the tea tree oil it will help dry out your natural uh you know overproduction of oils and then your moisturizer on top will make sure that your skin is still intact and then also including your ceramides and all that um, so, plenty of other ways to, you know, treat your skin without having to go to the cold gate. Keep the cold gate and the stuff for your teeth. I, I wouldn't recommend putting it on your face. Because you risk burning yourself. You risk scarring yourself. Throwing off your acid mantle. And we don't want that. Because what, what could have been a simple $50 to $150 treatment can easily turn into a thousand dollar plus treatment if done wrong with you darn gone messing up your skin so that is it y'all um leave your comments down below feel free to like comment share subscribe and i will see y'all soon with more videos Mwah.